days before Christmas, frontline immigrant service agencies across Canada were blindsided when the Conservatives slashed their funding without reasons. The South Asian Women's Centre in Toronto, which provides vital assistance to 14,000 newcomers last year, will have to close their doors and leave thousands of people without services. These agencies help new Canadians integrate into society and contribute to our economy. Will the minister reverse these harmful cuts before it's too late? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Well, isn't that an interesting question, Mr. Speaker? Coming from an MP who sat in a government that shortchanged newcomers in settlement services for 13 young, long years, imposed a $1,000 head tax on newcomers, froze settlement funding. Mr. Speaker, when we came to office, that government was only investing $200 million in settlement services. We're investing $600 million. This year, we'll see an increase in settlement services in seven of the ten provinces and in several parts of Ontario. But, Mr. Speaker, the funding has to follow the newcomers. There, is, there are relatively fewer going to Toronto, relatively more going to other parts of the country. That's good for Canada, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Beaches East North. Speaker, no answer but slander, that's fine. The bulk of immigrants come to Ontario and others move to Ontario shortly after arriving. Under the current agreement, this government owes Ontario $207 million and of the $53 million cuts, $43 million are in Ontario. This decision is short-sighted and irresponsible. How can these Conservatives find $6 billion for unaffordable corp tax cuts but can't find money we need for essential settlement services, specifically in Ontario. Right. That's right. Honourable Minister of Citizenship and Immigration. Mr. Speaker, I, I, you know, when I was in opposition, we used to have a rule, when you're going to ask a question, you would try to actually research it and know what you're talking about. Mr. Speaker, <laughs> there are no federal transfers to Ontario for settlement funds, never have been. There is no such agreement, Mr. Speaker. What there is, though, is a federal investment of this year $340 million in services to newcomers in Ontario. Mr. Speaker, that compares to $100 million under the Liberal government. Yeah.